everybody welcome in mark mclean and the shave of the day i am ready it's been <laughs> i'm afraid too long it has been uh over two and a half days almost three days since i've had my last shave and i am i'm really looking a a little uh, haggard i think uh, i need to thin the beard out as well but i just haven't won <laughs> had the courage to lately. I've just sort of been enjoying it for a while. No Shave November. I didn't participate, I'm afraid. I'm just not for me. I just started wet shaving not long ago, so I'm still enjoying it to the fullest extent. And I plan on continuing. You probably notice already my face sort of glistening. That's because I'm happy. <laughs> That's because it's early in the morning and I'm slap happy. It is uh, 2.55 a.m. Nothing like an early morning shave, but I just had to uh, get one at this hour. Everybody's asleep, I hope. Anyway, Today I am using Beaver Woodwright's pre-shave oil. I like this smell of this stuff. And there's their logo, the DWW. And uh, this stuff really smells nice. It has a, a, a hint of almond oil and some tea tree oil, I believe. Let's see, olive oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil, tea tree oil, fragrance oil, and almond oil. So uh, this stuff really is oily. As you can tell, I'm glistening. So it should help provide the razor uh, adequate uh, <laughs> surface coverage. This is a gift to me from my buddy, Jimmy Abbott. Jimmy, thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. He sent a touching letter along with it. I was going to read it earlier and I started. And honestly, I, I had to stop filming because I, I ended up getting choked up and it's I mean I feel that it's it's okay to be per, a person who feels able to show their emotions if they want to but I wasn't capable of doing the shave so I had to quit but I'm starting over and um, just take it from my heart Jimmy I am very touched with this he knew what this razor meant to me and that's why he sent it to me he even said so in the letter I'm getting sort of touched right now just uh, talking about it but um this razor is the one my dad taught me how to shave with not this particular one but this style the red tip gillette i've wanted one ever since i started wet shaving came close to buying a couple and they got away from me on ebay and then other times i didn't have the cash to get one so it's just been one of those things where it's just been escaping me every every corner. I haven't been able to find one. I haven't been able to buy it when I could find it. So Jimmy Abbott came through and he knew what it meant to me and he sent it to me thanking me for everything that I've done. I don't think I've done anything but uh, just be friends to a lot of good guys. And if that's what it took, then I appreciate it. I am more than happy to continue that. The blade I am using today is a Wilkinson sword. There you have it. Can you see that Wilkinson logo under there? This is the Wilkinson sword. Figures it would be upside down. <laughs> very sharp blades. These are very nice. I like these. They're tremendous. I'm going to close this thing up now. And the shave soap I'm using today is called Mal Pais, and that's how you pronounce it, Mal Pais, where, let's see, how is it worded, where um, the Wild West <laughs> meets your shaving soap or something <laughs> like that. This is, this is Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Douglas Smythe. He recommended this shave soap to me. I, I talked to him about it. This was uh, around my birthday, August 19th, and... So I, I asked him a few questions, how to pronounce it, um, what all it had in it. And after he told me that, that it had cedar, which is one of my favorites, of course, I was almost sold. But then he said leather. And then I'm thinking, woo, mesquite, black pepper. Yes, this is a scent of the, the old west, isn't it? Uh, it also has mint 
in it. Bergamot, tobacco, absolute, and ginger. Oh, yeah. And this stuff is just, it smells fantastic. I currently have it blooming in some water right here. Look at the size of this puck of soap. You want to call it a puck? No puck. I don't give a puck. Look at that. This is like a, you could go skeet shooting with this thing. But it's fantastic. The way it smells. I mean, the way it smells right now prior to lathering is nothing like it's going to smell afterwards. Once you start lathering this one, that's when the scent really comes out and is, is prominent. Now the uh, brush I'm using today has been soaking. This is a Samoag 830 given to me by a good buddy, James Burgess. And it has a boar bristle brush. 24 millimeter, I believe, is the size of that. I'm just going to start it uh, right here. Just, I didn't even pour the water out of my brush. I'm just loading it up as is, round and round. And they say that you're supposed to load a brush between 45 and 60 seconds, or approximately 120 to 125 swirls. Now that is dependent, of course, upon the amount of water you have in your brush and the thickness that you have in your brush. Now look at this. I've just been twirling this a short amount of time and it's just dropping lather everywhere in the sink. You know it's going to be good. I'm not even going to use my bowl, although I got it out. It's just, there's no sense in using it today. I know because I've used this soap before. <laughs> it really does a great job. Oh, wow. And smells good too. It almost lathers like, um, well, I read an article today. My buddy James Presley had it posted on, uh, on his Facebook page, Fuzzy Face Soaps. It was from Badger and Blade. And it told how to load to get the best out of your soap how to best load Italian shaving soaps. And uh, that's what I've done. I, uh, I just did as it said. Uh, the way the article describes it, it says to fill your brush with, with hot water after soaking it, and then just sit it down on the counter and allow, allow gravity to drain it. And that's, that's what I did. So, uh, I have more than enough soap right here, but I should probably add some water to it. I just want to get all of this out. I like this kind of coating right there. I'm going to dip the bristles right into the sink and I hope I, do, I don't get too much water. But it's great soap. And Douglas didn't steer me wrong when he said, uh, you'll like this one, Hunter. That's what he said. He was right. <laughs> yeah, buddy, he was right. But I do prefer using this, this kind of a brush when I'm going to face lather. You know, sometimes I bowl lather, sometimes I face lather. It just... It varies, you know, I'm a different kind of a guy. I like to do things differently. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna stick it in my bowl and just drip a few drops of water. That way you can control the, the consistency of the water to soap ratio, or at least that's how I feel. And see there, it's already coming to, to a fruition of a huge lathery paste and uh, mixing up to some nice suds. I'm going to do some sud slinging here, folks. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, isn't that fantastic? Man, I love this stuff. It's always a, a pleasure just to shave with this stuff. And I think for the most part, I have uh, 
played around enough. <laughs> That's what my wife says I'm doing. You're just playing with that soap. <laughs> yeah, I am. That's because I like it. Then you gotta do this number, right? That's what everybody likes to do, I think. Definitely going to have to trim my beard, folks. Definitely going to have to. Going to add a little bit more uh, water to my bowl. Try to keep my hand dry. Keep all the soap off and wash it. Rinse it and keep it dry. And this way you can continue adding to it as needed. If you want a little more uh, thickness to your lather, there you go, see that? I just slung some suds somewhere. The kids will find it tomorrow. <laughs> What's this stuff? And my socks. See there? You can just continue adding to it all you want. And this stuff is tremendous. It really is. I suggest you try this one. And you say, well, Hunter, you say that about all those soaps you use. That's right. You know why? Because I'm not going to use a soap that I don't like. Yes, I, I brag about the soaps I use. And the ones I don't like, I'm going to pass off. I uh, pay it forward, so to speak, and let some uh, somebody who doesn't have a, a lot of shaving soaps uh, get those. You know, if I don't like them, why should I shave with them? Doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> okay, here we go. This one's to you, Dad. J.B. McLean is my dad's name. He has been passed away since 2007, and I miss him a lot. Wow. This brings back some memories. It's real touching to know that someone cared about me enough. in that. I want to see how my beard line is right here so I can not cut too low after I get it lined out. I'm good to go. Really a, an awesome soap, an awesome razor, and an awesome blade. One thing I like and I enjoy about using a double edge, being able to swish it around in the sink with water that's sort of how my dad did it. Really is how he did it. I was born in 1961. These razors came along about that time and they were really popular. And I know I am enjoying this one. Working on a nearly a three day <laughs> no shave. Wow. For those of you uh, wondering, I am making my own bay rum after shave in case you've read about it or heard something about it.
really think it's going to be great too. I uh, I was very fortunate. I th I think I I did some major searching to find some of the ingredients that I wanted for this particular batch of bay rum. It's called Mutiny Bay Rum, spelled with an H R H U M. Captain Hunters, Scents of the Seven Seas. And I say that I was very fortunate because I had read all kinds of reviews and about people who made it and tried it and instructions on different pages and YouTube video after video how to make it and I had to come up with my own ideas and I did to top it off I wanted something a little better than that you know I wanted something that's that's going to be better than what maybe a lot of other people have made in their in their garage or home or whatever I wanted something that I could make and my friends would like it and use it as well so I started searching for my ingredient list mutiny bay rum has a total of 20 ingredients in it I honestly don't think it's anything that's going to exacerbate the situation if you have a very sensitive skin issues because the majority of those ingredients are of course the regular spices if you're allergic to the regular spices I wouldn't suggest using of course but I'm talking about different oils witch hazel and aloe vera doing the upward pass now but it smells unique it has been capped off though after I reach the five-day mark I cap it no more oxygen no more light cover it in aluminum foil and tape it with packaging tape top to bottom and then I rotate it on a five-hour basis because I have several batches and each each jar which is in a 32 ounce batch so small batches that's the key I'm thinking too and uh, each batch I rotate on a five-hour basis in my tumbler I have a stone tumbler that's for professional grade hobbyists hobby shops type actually I used it for uh, knife uh, acid etching and stone tumbling the blades which I had a lot of people like but I uh, I really am using it for something else now five hours each each batch Wow This is a very smooth shave and a very quick shave. I'm finished. I'm serious. That is it. I've enjoyed putting on the shave soap as much as I could, and now it's time to come to an end. <laughs> or as my wife would say, 
no more playing in that soap. <laughs> she is right, you know. <laughs> I tend to play in it. That's okay. Got plenty of it to play in. <laughs> If you notice my eyes a little swollen, I've been up for nearly, nearly 48 hours because of uh, my wife. She's been having problems with her knee and uh, spent the morning through uh, the doctors, the afternoon and evening in the emergency room. So right now I'm throwing on some PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Awesome sandalwood, my favorite. I love the scent. Sure is nice. Even put some on my arms. I want a little bit everywhere on this stuff, you know? Yeah, I gotta trim my beard. Looking like Santa Claus here. That is the stuff right there. Good stuff. And I'm going to throw on some sandalwood aftershave balm from Truffitt and Hill. And this is their sandalwood. Because this stuff is excellent for moisturizing your face, replenishing your skin. It does a great job. I put it on sort of thick and then just sort of blot it. That way it allows a lot more to stay on your face and to sink into your pores. It really moisturizes a lot better that way, I found. Now look at me. I've reached whole status. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Get out and have some fun today, ladies and gentlemen. Spend your time in, in the alone time, that is, in the bathroom shaving when you get the opportunity. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Peace. <laughs>